So today we'll be learning this chord progression, this dreamy chord progression that will help you develop your creativity on acoustic guitar. Right, so let's get started with the chords. The first is a D sus2. Uh, we'll be playing quite a lot of sus2 chord positions and we'll explore them quite a lot. So the first one is made by, you know, the D here on fret 10 of the E string, then fret 9 on the G and fret 10 again on the B string, like this. Occasionally, I will also throw in the root note again, one octave higher, which is going to be just the open D string like this. Okay. Then from here, I first move to a B, so fret number seven, minor. So that's just a simple B minor triad. So while here you had the root, the major second and the fifth, that's why it was a sus2 chord, here you basically have the root, the minor third and the perfect fifth. So this is just a classic minor chord. From here, I go to G fret number three, and here I do play uh, the sus2 position again. Same as the D, just with the root on fret number three of the E string, like this. Okay. Then from here, the last chord that I go to is again a B, but this time not a B minor, it's going to be a B sus2. Same position again, I'm just sliding it from fret three to fret seven, like this. Okay. Only the very last time that I go through the chord positions, I also add uh, an A, which is gonna be played like this. Just root note here, fret number six, major third here on the G string, and fret number five on the fifth on the B string, it's gonna be the fifth degree. Okay, so just root, major third, perfect fifth. So this again is going to be just a classic major triad like this. Just with the root here on the open string. Okay, so again the chords. D sus2, B minor, G sus2, B sus2. You repeat it a few times and when you want to finish you go to A and then the uh, resolution on the first degree is going to be a D major 7 like this. Little finger ring and then the first finger on fret 2. Uh, I sometimes play, I think the first time I played uh, in the intro this which is D major 7, uh, but it's a sus2 again, okay? So it has the second degree here. You can even think of it as an A chord with a D on the bass, okay? Then from here, I start the melodies that we'll see later. Guys, this chord progression is based on seven bars, which is quite unusual. And it's two bars of D sus2, two bars of V minor, one bar of G sus2, and two bars of B uh, sus2 or the last time one bar of B sus2 and one bar of A, but still seven bars in the chord progression. This is inspired by the acoustic version of a very popular rock song. So if you guys um, kind of like hear what chord progression I'm referring to and what song I'm inspired by, please let me know that in the comments. I, I think especially when you play this thing, you can maybe hear where this comes from. There were a few melodies here and there. So for example, on the first chord, I stay for two bars and on the second bar, I play this melody. Okay, so. D, C sharp, A, B, so 15th, 14th, 10th, 12th fret on the B string like. Okay, I probably reached the first D up here with a slide. Okay, then I go to fret number seven, which is the highest note that you hear in the B minor. And at the end of the B minor, after one bar, you know, I, I still play two bars of B minor as well. So after one bar I do. The simple melody made by G, F sharp, D, C sharp, G, fret eight, and then F sharp seven on the B string, and D and C sharp fret seven and six of the G string. Okay, and I use this finger to then slide to fret number two, use it as an A chord, and then get the G sus two, and then up to the B sus two. So the pattern that I'm playing uh, with the chords is basically this. Mm -hmm. 
sort of inspired by a Travis picking technique, but I'm, I start plucking two strings, then single string, and then I play the bass note again, only on this first chord, because I sometimes play the uh, root note one octave higher, I might go to the D string like this. Okay. Otherwise, on the other chords, I just stick to... And I use quite a lot the slides on the bass. Okay. Now, on the first chord, it sounds like this. Then the melody. Right? From here, B minor. Melody, G, back to B, play a little with the dynamic as well, start again, You don't have to play the melody every time. Uh, for example, the first time in the intro I didn't play it at all, I like to introduce the harmony first, just doing... Okay, and then from the second time play uh, the melody. Now, let's go over the very last time that I play the chords. So you see I replaced the two bars at the end, the two bars of B sus2 with one bar of B sus2 and one bar of A using a common note which is this C sharp on fret 6 of the G string. Okay, and then from here I go to that D major 7 sus2 or A over D and then I start my first melody which goes like... So notes B, fret number 4 of the G string, then all on the B string C sharp D, E, F sharp G, so frets 2, 3, 5, 7, A, then E string, B, D, C sharp, so 7, 10, 9, B string again, A, F sharp, A, so 10, 7, A. It's a combination of a D major scale, but also a D major 7 arpeggio, you know. And once you reach this note, the A here, you keep it in common to play just a simple D major triad, okay, where rather than playing the D on fret 12 here, I play it on the open string, like this. 11th fret with the second finger and then bar on the 10th uh, on the bottom two strings. But then from here, I start my other melody. Okay, so how does this go? Uh, slide first between 12 and 14th on the first string, then 12, 14 again. Then 10, 12, 9, 10, 12 above, so... Then 9 on the first string, then 10 and 7 on the B, then I move to the G string, I play 7, 6, I move to the D string and I play 7, 4. So slowly... Again a mix of the skill and the arpeggio. I use then my ring finger as an anchor on the F sharp fret 4 of the D string to play the very last chord, D major 7. So again from the last time of the B sus2, A, maybe slowing down, D major 7 sus2, melody, D major chord, 
second melody. Final chord, D major 7. So let's listen to it all together. Introduction first. Okay guys, if you want to see more videos like this, more chord progressions on acoustic guitar, please let me know that in the comment section below. Feel free to get in touch with me in the comments or follow me on Instagram. And if you haven't done it yet, make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to get notified. The Bearded Guitar is here. Thanks for watching guys. I'll be seeing you in the next video.